When you first got this script in front of you, what was the initial reaction? Well, what happened before that was I was doing um, publicity for Hateful Eight, so we were in the middle of the you know swing, and all of a sudden one day my phone was going off, and even the crew like around was beginning to buzz, and I said, "What? What? Are, you know, what is this?" And they were asking me, you know, "Are you going to play Peter Quill's father? Are you going to be Star Lord's dad? Are you going to do Guardians of the Galaxy?" And I hadn't seen the movie, so I didn't know anything, and I. People started in, like you guys were starting to ask me about that too, and I I just didn't I didn't know anything about it. I hadn't heard anything from anybody, and the script was uh, very interesting. But it, it you know it was something that I also quickly said, well now I don't want to be the one to wreck this thing, so I need to do this properly. And started talking with James, and anyway ended up doing the movie, and and that's when you go to work, you know. And I had a great time. After all these years, I've found you. And who the hell are you? I figured my rugged good looks would make that obvious. Ego is a very, it's an interesting character. It's a very deep character. And, yeah. and you know, caught me by surprise with the, yeah. the plot twist there. Was there anything you drew upon to, uh, to get into this character? Because he is very complex. And plus the relationship with uh, Chris's character. Yeah, I mean, what struck me was that <clears throat> I was thinking constantly, thank God we're in the world of sci-fi. Because it asks a very... Uh, a very serious question. He's he's a god. He's created his own existence. He created his own planet. Every, you know, every, how he gets about, what he looks like. You know, when he went to Earth, he <clears throat> made the very weird choice of wanting to look like this. <laughs> you know, okay, that's what he wanted. Um, but what that asks, of course, then is, well, if he's God, then if, who's his son? What were you thinking? Dude, they were really easy to steal. It would sound insane in anything outside of sci-fi, but out, but inside of sci-fi, well, are there, is there a connection to our, God, our concept of God and Jesus Christ and his son and what, you know, and, and this? Well, yeah. I mean, that's what you do in sci-fi. And I just love that you, I don't think it's fair to say dumb it down. I think it's fair to say, Put it in a sense of human reality, because that was the choice by ego, to be that entity and experience, as he says, traveling through the cosmos that way, with all the foibles that are connected to it. I that it I I was constantly kind of affected by that. Yeah, I think how the film approaches that God figure is very interesting, and I thought I thought I thought it, it did it in a different way than I've seen exactly. In That's other it. Yep. It's no. This is it just you can't say there's no seriousness to it because obviously there is, but as done with the I think Guardians of the Galaxy sense of irreverence. What's it like working with this Chris Pratt guy? I think this guy's got a future in Hollywood. <clears throat> it's a shame to watch somebody um, who has some talent just uh, piss it away because he's just a, such an enormous ass. And there's nothing, there's nothing I could ever say to him. I could never get through to him. Um, he's on his own little thing, and it's, he's going to find out that it's going to end. This ride's going to end, and it's yeah. a shame. Yeah. It's too bad. It's because, as I said, he has some talent. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> you make my job easy. <laughs>